Let us open our Bible to the book of Numbers 32. Numbers 32. Tribes of East Jordan. Tribe of Jordan East. Numbers 32 verses 1 to 5. The tribes of Reuben and Gad request an inheritance on the east of Jordan. As the entire nation looks across the river to the promised land, there are two tribes, Reuben and Gad, who see that the land of Gilead will be suitable for their numerous livestock. They request that they be allotted to settle in this region rather than going across the Jordan to the west. Here is a proposal made by the Reubenite and the Gadad that the land lately conquered might be allotted to them. Two things are common in the world. In the world. Two, two things common in the world might lead these tribes to make this choice. First, the lust of the eye. Second, the pride of life. There was much amiss in the principle they went upon. They consulted their own private convenience rather than the public good. Thus, to the present time, many seek their own things more than the things of Yahshua Christ and are led by worldly interest and advantages to take up the shot of the heavenly, the heavenly canal. Numbers 32 verses 6 to 15. Moses reproves the, the Reubenites and Gadites. Moses severely rejects Reuben and Gad's proposal. He perceives it to be a sin like that of their fathers, who did not want to enter the promised land in Numbers 13 and 14. The proposal showed disregard to the land of Canaan, distrust of Yahweh's promise, and the unwillingness to encounter the difficulties and dangers of conquering and driving out the inhabitants of that land. Moses is angry with them. It is unacceptable for any of God's Israel to sit down on concern about the difficult and perilous concerns of their brethren where the public are personal. The, he reminds them of the fatal consequences of the unbelief and the faint-heartedness of their fathers when they were, as themselves, first ready to enter Canaan. If men considered as they should, or what would be the end of sin, they would be afraid of the beginning of it. Numbers 32 verses 16 to 27 They correct and explain, and explain their views. Moses consents. Verses 16 to 19 The leaders of Gad and Reuben modify their requests. Even though they would like for their inheritance to be in the land of Gilead, they will go and fight with the rest of the tribe, the, the, the Israelites, to help them acquire their inheritance. All they want is to be able to live in this spot after the land had been taken. Here is the good effect of plain dealings. Moses, by showing their sin and the danger of it, brought them to their duty without murmuring 
or disputing. All men have to consider the interests of others as well as their own. The law of love requires us to labor, venture, and suffer for each other as there may be occasion. They propose that their men of war should go ready armed before the children of Israel into the land of Canaan, and that they should not return to till they should not return till the conquest of Canaan was ended. Verses twenty to twenty seven Moses agrees to let these two tribes settle in the land of Gilead if they will keep their word and go to war. He grants their, grants their request, but he warns them of the danger of breaking their word. If they do not fight, then they will be sinning against the Lord. If you fail, you sin against Yahweh, and not against your brethren only. God will certainly reckon with you for it. Be sure your sin will find you out. Sin will surely find out the sinner sooner or later. It concerns us now to find our sins out, that we may repent of them and forsake them, let, uh, lest they find us to our ruin. Numbers 32 verses 28 to 42. They take possession of the land to the east of Jordan. Verses 28 to 30. Moses tells Eleazar, Joshua, and the heads of the tribes that the sons of Gad and Reuben say they will fight with the sons of Israel in the promised land if they can be given the land of Gilead. Moses says that if they do not fight, there will be a portion of opposition in Canaan and will have to accept what they are given. Moses puts a place of contingency for their disobedience, just in case they get too comfortable where they are. Verses 31 to 38, the sons of Gad and Reuben agree with the plan. Moses gives the sons of Gad and Reuben and the half-tribe of Manasseh, the kingdoms of Sihon, king of the Amorite, and the Ark, the king of Basha, the, the king of Basham, with all its cities and territories. The first land is distributed to these families. Verses 39 to 42. The sons of Maki, the son of Manasseh, take Gilead from the, Amor the Amorites, and Moses gives the land to them. More land is being taken, and these tribes are getting settled in their new home. The problem has been averted. Obedience to Yahweh's plan is still going to be carried out. And the nation is about to experience what God promised to Abraham many years ago. Concerning the settlement of these tribes, observe that they build the cities, that is, repair them. They change the names of them. Probably they were idolatrous, idolatrous therefore they should be forgotten. A spirit of selfishness, of seeking our own, not the things of Christ, when each one had to assist others, is as dangerous as it is common. It is impossible to be sincere in the faith, sensible to the goodness of God, 
constrained by the love of Christ, satisfied by the power of the Holy Spirit, and yet be indifferent to the progress of religion and the spiritual success of others through love of ease or fear of conflict. Let then your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray against impatience as Yahweh's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. I clothe myself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the material of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will make sure I do not fail to obtain the grace of God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will make sure that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, for by it many become defiled. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. The Lord said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in good, in weakness, in weakness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. My soul. Wait silently for Yahweh alone, for my expectation is from Him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I rest in the Lord Yahweh and wait patiently for Him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not fret because of Him who prospers in His way because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For the end of a thing is better than its beginning. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I believe that after I have patiently endured, I will obtain the promise. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will be patient and persevering until the coming of the Lord Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I see how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently till uh, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and latter rain. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Heed the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah we pray. For by my patience I will possess my soul. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant us to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Heavenly Father, I start my day humbled and repentant. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I readily acknowledge my need for the gospel today, just like every day. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I need it for being patient and kind 
for life in a broken world among other broken people. Thank you, Lord. All three of you, in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I own my weakness. Help me not to despise the weakness of others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. So, I would love to justify myself. There is no such justification. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am a selfish man who expect everything and everyone to make my life predictable, manageable, and enjoyable. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I assume green lights when I am driving. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I assume open checkout, checkout lines when I'm shopping. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Yes, I don't want people to fear the stuff they should fear. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I don't want them to struggle with the same things I struggle with. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I don't want to simply be the normal broken sinners that we are all. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, have mercy on me, the sinner. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Abba, Father, I am so thankful that your love for me it is steadfast and limitless. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am thankful that I can count on new mercies every morning. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I not only grieve my attitude, I do repent and abandon myself to the resources of the gospel. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yeshua, I want and I need your power to rest on me and to settle my restless heart. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not pray. I will not pray about next week or even tomorrow. Just give me the manner of gospel kindness for this one day. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Help me to respond gently and not react rigidly to the weaknesses of others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Help me not to roll off my sleeves. Help me to roll off my sleeves and not to roll my eyes when I meet brokenness in others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Help me to love as you love me, for that is the bottom line and the top priority. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. So very, amen. I pray in your patient and powerful name, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayer. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen.